Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to hit the field together. Charlie's got the tractor all set up for us. He's already got his 11 acres planted. Time for me to do mine. We're going to bring you along. I hope you enjoy. Charles already has the tractor all filled up with fuel, ready to go for me. We've got our drill set, the proper pounds per acre to put out the right population. You saw that in the previous video. We're getting ready to roll out. If you would, hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And subscribe if you're new. Let's hit the field. I am heading across the field and setting my AB point. We are going to plant on an angle. As you can see, the rows of rye are going this way. And with this GPS, at times, Charlie was planting directly in the old row of rye. And we don't want to do that. We want to plant beside it. We talked to a good neighbor of ours, Mike. Uh, he's really an awesome guy, an older gentleman that helps us out. And we're going to get our AB set. And then we will make a few passes and then hopefully send the drone up. Fingers crossed. We are dialed in. We are planting at four mile per hour. We are on pass zero. I always like to do a dry run on my AB just to make sure we're all lined up. Then I will start one and then back up. So we are dialed in. Again, we're planting at four mile per hour, hands free. We'll make a couple of passes, make sure everything is squared away. And then I'm hoping to get some aerial shots. We'll bring you guys along. Make sure you like and share. It's kind of a new first for the channel. And like always, you guys get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we'll see how it turns out. Mid action report. Mr. Tim is going to get the Jeep. You can see the rye finally did take off. We do have quite a few bald spots. It's in Antithes. See? Pollinating. I believe the reason for our poor stand, we got quite a bit of uh, blowing weather in uh, mid-January, I think, somewhere in there. And at times it was like 13, 14 below, and there was no snow cover. So all of this just got pummeled, and I think that stunted it. Here on the end rows, it's really nice and lush, but out in the middle, it's pretty sparse, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Drill is doing pretty good. We're getting good soil depth. Everything's laying down good. I'm not sure if we'll have to roll on these end rows or not. We'll just have to see.
We had to make an emergency landing due to running out of battery. Landed right over there in a wet spot, but all things look to be in good shape. So we may or may not have gotten away with it. We've already planted two acres, still chugging along at four mile per hour. Hopefully the shots turn out awesome. Really exciting to bring a new piece of kit along and play with it. So we'll check back in. We'll definitely do more drone shots and then I'll have to start working the magnetic mount and throw it in all kinds of different random spots for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe if you made it so far.
are setting our final AB line on the north end of the field. We've gone 8.67 acres. I got a little wild on the end rows because I don't want any gaps and I normally don't plant on the diagonal like that. Normally plant straight. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are safely back home. Another good planting season for the old new Holland TS-110. Got our new duels on. Those are working very well. Really like having those. They're not undersized this time. Really, really like this tractor. Came out of Oklahoma from a, a municipal. It was an Alamo side hill mower or something like that. Had one of those Sidewinder mowers on it. Really nice setup here. 110 horsepower and it does not leave you wanting for anything. Has plenty of power under the hood. Really, really like this tractor. With all of that being said, please like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Really takes a long time to bring you guys along on the adventures with us. We really appreciate all the views. Again, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.